Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, a spring training matchup between the Texas Rangers and the Kansas City Royals. So Elvis Andres the next to bat and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. He's only four pitches in but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time one away. Stepping in, Elvis Vizcaino, as he'll get Elvis. his first opportunity in this one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Willie Calhoun waits on deck. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. The next 3 2. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at bat. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Heading after it is Phillips. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Now the three and two pitch. Is it very well to right? This one's hammered and it's going to go. That one is gone. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. In now, Joey Gallo. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Danny Santana would be next. Full count now three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a two-two pitch, right? But that one was so low. I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Third baseman. Mondesi aboard here at first with nobody out. Runners going. A pitch out. The throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Stepping up to the plate, Whit Merrifield. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that's in there. Base hit. 
and they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Back and forth. The right field. Jorge. At the plate, Jorge Soler. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. For his career in this matchup, just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that will square things at one to one. So we're back to even now after the sack fly. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He's running. Strike taken to throw. And a wide throw here as it skips into center field. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and coming forward the veteran outfielder, Danny Santana. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Phillips is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's the second the baseman, second base. Scooter Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette. And he pops it up. Dozier ranges back and he has it for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Jay Bruce. The one two. High in the air out to center field. Phillips is there for it. And the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Here's the one and one pitch. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Hit on the ground out toward Jeanette at second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. So next to the plate for the Royals, Michael Franco. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Into the box now. Anderson Miller. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled off. Here now the 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. A 1 1 home. Hit hard on the ground at third. He's got it. And that'll do it as Jeanette is at second base to record the force out. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Now the one and one pitch. Hey. One ball two strikes. Count. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. So next to the tough. plate for Texas Jose Trevino Jose. one out Trevino. nobody on. Drive base hit into the left center field gap. The back number one. Up, 
Andrews. At the plate now, Elvis Andrews lofted in the air out toward right center. There to pull it in is Soler, and there are two away. Ready for another chance. Elvis Vizcaino. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Vizcaino. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Lifted the other way out to left center. Gallo arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. Standing in now, Whit Merrifield. Late square, and this is popped up. Vizcaino is there, and he has it for the out. Stepping up now, Jorge Soler picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Jacob Junis will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Number 65. To the plate now for Texas is the D.H. Willie Calhoun. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. One gone in the Texas sport, and that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. Into the box, Danny Santana. Line drive to center field. Phillips is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now at the plate, Scooter Jeanette. He flew out in his last at bat. Scooter Jeanette. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Corey Kruber, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 28. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. This is line to left, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. The catcher, Salvador. In now, Salvador Perez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
for the Warriors. Digging in now for Kansas City, Michael Franco, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Anderson Miller waits on deck. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gallo is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So striding forward now Anderson Miller looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that misses two and two. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to Guzman at first and the inning is over. Gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 28. Here's Jay Bruce now. Now the 2 1. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And he will fight the Cactus League sky as he puts this one away for route number one. Standing in, Ronald Guzman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 1 1. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now batting. The catcher. Jose. Stepping in now, Jose Trevino. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it 2 and 2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The battle, number one. Full stop, Elvis Andrews. To the plate now, Elvis Andrews. Line to the right side. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The second run will come across to score as they take the lead here four to two. Now that third base. So now to the plate Elvis Vizcaino called strike and he's behind one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. The two two. Hit back up the middle. Merrifield picks it up. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Jimmy Nelson, the right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Leading off the inning, Brett Phillips, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Grounded to short. Jeanette has it for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Now Stepping into the box, Hunter Dozier. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back. And again a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The 
it 2 2. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Hit out towards second. Andrus on to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Mike Montgomery takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. New inning set to get underway, and into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Miller, a range to his left, takes this one down in left center for the first out. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. A swing and a ground ball to third. Dozier brings it in, and boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag the over there, and that's out number two. Danny. At the plate, Danny, Danny Santana. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Matt Dennis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 36. Matt. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jorge Soler. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. Line drive base hit. Now that number 56. Standing in now, Ryan O'Hearn. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now the three and two pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. At the plate now, Michael Franco is short, hit hard. A dive and he knocks it down. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Colby Allard comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. In now, Anderson Miller. This is hit the other way out toward left field. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Tim Hill is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 54. And it appears as though we'll see a pinch hitter now as the switch hitter Ben Zobrist has grabbed a bat and moved into the on deck circle. This is line to left. And there's a base hit, so a good job off the bench to get him started here in the seventh. The right fielder, number 20. Into the box, Jay Bruce did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out of the ring. So it's first and second now. Nobody out, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. This is pulled into right. Soler is there, one away. Now to the plate, Jose Trevino, who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Eric Skogland comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Hunter Cole will come on as a pinch hitter. Hunter Cole. Three runs already home here. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Phillips is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Shirton Apostle will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Shirton Apostle. him up. Perez is there. And the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional cemetery stress. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Kelvin Gutierrez will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty one man out. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there were two down. 
Ryan McBroom will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Turn gone, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Swing and a liner. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Isaiah Kiner Falefa is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Kiner Falefa. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Nick Solak come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Nope. Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hitting for the Ranger. Leody Tavares will be summoned Leody. off the bench here as he'll pinch Tavares. hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Miller is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Rukna Dodor will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. A runner on first with two away. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ariel Hirado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37. Michael Gigliotti will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Ground ball right side. A door is there, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Jason Guzman will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 75, Jason Guzman. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Cam Gallagher will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 36, Cam Gallagher. Hit down the line at first. Reined in. On to first with it himself is Guzman, and the inning is over. Jake Kalish enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter Jay Bruce. 
Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with his slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Three, two, one more time. Hit hard, but foul. The next three, two. Right side and right into the shift. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now, the first now in the box, Ronald Guzman. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Miller is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Settling in now, Jose Trevino trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Once again, a three two. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Jonathan Hernandez, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Last time through was a base hit. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. It's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Slow roller down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. To third. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. At the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Franco. So far, two for three in this one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. The three two pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Now batting Anderson Miller. It was a fly out for him in his last trip.
Here's a swing. High drive. Left field. Out of here. Well, partner, this one might not be over yet as the lead has shrunk to just two now as they continue to chip away at this deficit. Jose Leclerc comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Jose Leclerc. Into the box now, Brett Phillips. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. KC down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 7-5 to five, how today's comes to an end. The Texas Rangers used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Corey Kluber takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For Kansas City, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 31 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.